Today I want to talk about how the coronavirus affected my activity as a landscape photographer. This is not a scripted video. I decided to be uh, as real as possible because these are hard times for everybody. I don't want to say that the coronavirus crisis affected me more than others. I'm pretty sure everyone is affected, but I want to tell you how I'm affected, what am I doing right now, and what's the plan for this YouTube channel also. So, uh, because I'm a landscape photographer, you probably already know, uh, I have to go outside a lot and to take photos and to organize workshops, and I can't do that anymore. I had to cancel my Norway workshop, the Tuscany workshop, and the Dolomite workshop from September. I'm pretty sure that this year is a complete no-no for going, especially in Italy, to organize workshops. So it's going to be a very rough and difficult year for me. And uh, at, at this moment, I have some courses for sale if you want to support me, but I will work and in the following week or maximum two weeks, I will also have other tutorials that I think are dealing with more spectacular edits of my forest photos. Probably you know about my forest photography. And I will try to, uh, to record some tutorials that are more interesting, that are, that are much more interesting than what I have right now. So in the following week, I will try to address that. I had to move my office from my studio. I'm, right now I'm in my kitchen, I'm at home. I had to move everything and in the next video I will tell you the setup that I'm using over here uh, into my home. Maybe it's useful for you to just to plan things and to uh, see how you can deal with this crisis. Uh, we are locked inside our homes by our own will. There is a government uh, law, a military government law that uh, says that starting tonight at uh, 10 p.m everyone should stay inside their homes, but it's not mandatory. Uh, there are some restrictions, but they're not full restrictions. I believe that these restrictions should be applied 100%. We should all stay inside our homes, but still there are people that are, are simply not, not dealing well with this, I think, and they just want to get out there in, with other people and get infected, infect other people. People. It's, it's so sad when, when I see people that don't even care about their own lives, the lives of their children, their parents, their grandparents. It's very, it's strange. It's strange because I, I can't understand this type of behavior. Now, um, the thing that I'm, going, I'm, I'm doing right now inside my home, and you'll probably see lots of videos on my YouTube channel from this location, First of all, I'm going to revisit my old photos. I have a new understanding, a new way of looking at editing, and I think I can uh, offer a fresh edit to many of my photos. So I will do that, and probably you will see more editing uh, videos. Leave a comment if you, you are interested in something like this. Leave also a comment if you're interested in my future tutorials. I'm revisiting my old uh, photos. I'm also creating lots of videos and short uh, short videos for Instagram. If you're not familiar with my Instagram account, in the description of this video, there's a link to see there, my Instagram handle. Go follow me there. I post lots of photos. And um, what else? I do lives on Instagram. I started the first live today and I'll do many more lives when I, where I'm going to talk about landscape photography, but also most importantly, you as a viewer have the chance to ask me landscape photography related questions. So if you have questions, just uh, note them down, fo uh, following, follow me on Instagram. And uh, whenever I will go live, I will post something and uh, I will say that tonight at eight o'clock, for example, um, Eastern European time, we will go live and you can ask whatever questions you have about uh, photography. So this is something that I want to do uh, for you uh, and in, in exchange for your support uh, and your, uh, your viewership if you, if you want. Uh, what else? I'm also using um, a new service 
for digital note taking. I decided that I need to plan a lot of my future trips and I'm using Notion. It's, a, it's, a, it's an app that it's incredible. It, it won my heart. In the description of this video, there's also a link to, to this. It's an affiliate link. Please use it if you, you can open a free account and uh, for each free account, I receive a little bit of something that I can only use to uh, pay for my uh, pro account or something like that, or my personal account, I think it's called over there. So uh, if you decide to use this digital note-taking app, Notion, please use the link provided in the, in the description of this video. So I'm using Notion together with Google Earth. I think these are the best tools for planning future trips. I, I don't see any, any better tools out there. Uh, the way Notion uh, offers you the possibility to organize your documents and have all sorts of tasks with tags, with, I mean, the, the app is incredible. You also get a desktop uh, app, which is also great. You can use it in the browser. Um, I, I really love this app. I really love this app. And um, I think it's, it's, it's an app that I'm, I'll, I'll always use it because it's, it's giving me the opportunity to really organize things. And another thing that I'm doing is playing a lot with my four-year-old daughter. I'm, uh, <laughs> I know all the names from My Little Pony. I know lots of things. I also do a lot of reading and I'm really happy that uh, uh, until this year I was reading only physical books. And in the beginning of the year, I decided to buy a Kindle. And now I think it's the best investment I did. I, I, I don't feel comfortable right now to still order books and have a real person drop to my door. It's, it's strange what this coronavirus did to us. Uh, the, the fact that we are afraid to interact with other people because I don't know if that person is infected and I'm mostly afraid for, for my daughter and I'm thinking that I have to do everything to protect her. We stay inside our home, we wash our hands, we, we, I mean, we don't even go outside inside the forest. I mean, I, I was going with, a four, with my 4x4 four four as isolated as possible and yesterday there were there were lots of people in that forest. So I decided, okay, it's time to stop even that and to just stay inside our homes. And I don't know for how long this is going to be. And I don't know how I'm going to be affected. All my bills were paid from what I've earned as a landscape photographer. And now the only income streams that I have is this YouTube channel you supporting me by buying my editing courses and stock photography but with the recent event stock photography decided to go down a lot so it's it's very tough it's very tough for me and the the only thing that matters is that we are healthy my daughter, my wife, and I, and my entire family is healthy. That's the most important thing. I'm not thinking about money. I'm 100% sure that when all this is going to be over, I'm going to go back again into my favorite forests. I'm going to go photograph. I'm going to have my workshops again, and things will be better again. Or at least I'm hoping that are going to be better. And I don't have any, any, any other chance. I have to think that things will be better. So I hope all of you, you will stay safe. I hope all of you are healthy. And inside are your homes, safe and secure for all, from, from, from this madness, from this stinky coronavirus. I remember that not long ago I was free. 
free to walk on the streets of my town, to hike in the mountains near me, to go to different countries. In just three weeks, our world has changed. Now we're trapped inside our homes, looking outside our windows, thinking, hoping that nothing bad will happen to our children, our parents, our grandparents, our partners, our friends. This virus has taken our freedom and has brought tears on millions of faces. We're nothing compared to the power of the planet, but when all this madness will pass, we should stronger reconsider the way we live, because this is what we need to do. Live, smile, visit our dear ones, speak to each other. Maybe use our car less, maybe eat less, maybe we don't need to buy everything, maybe we need to learn to live as humans again.